it was um, in one of villages that uh, were all also on the front line in Chernigiv region, and uh, it was a two-storied building, and uh, it attracted our attention because uh, people were desperately trying to uh, clean the territory to um, they were looking if something uh, can be saved from belongings so they just returned to this house because uh, before uh, russians retreated it was used by russians as their defense point something like that and uh, it was uh, really it was very damaged and uh, this man he's actually his back <laughs> here this man is alexander he he was ordinary he's like ordinary calm quiet person and uh, i asked him to show his apartment what was safe and uh, we came to the apartment we came to the lobby it was normal but when he opened uh, the door to the kitchen, I, I didn't expect that, but I saw the what, what what is photographed here. I saw that it it would be just a kitchen, uh, but it was uh, something with an entrance to to the roof. So the mines they uh, destroyed everything uh, from the roof. And he he was joking that now I live in penthouse, you know, and uh, his ability to joke was uh, something uh, irrational. But uh, and uh, I was I was amazed by his uh, by his belief that uh, we will rebuild everything. So we need to move on. We need to uh, go on. And. Uh, when we were talking uh, after uh, sitting in in the room, uh, he sadly mentioned that when Russians were coming, they came and they took his uh, religious literature. I don't know what is that, maybe Bible or something. But the fact that he was uh, sad about that, it showed me that it is something he values more than something material. Truly speaking, it is it can't be restored this man he doesn't have an apartment anymore it can't be restored and this is a common picture for many and many of territories many hundreds of towns uh, of villages and uh, towns in ukraine <laughs>